something from you too. So whatever it is that you're doing in your life that's not right, you need to get it right. That means you need to give it up.
understood that if he was to pay the ultimate penalty for sin, yes. homicidal death on a cross, he must go to Jerusalem. Amen. Yes. If he was going to die anywhere, it had to be Jerusalem. Amen. Jerusalem was the place for all sacrifices. Yes. The yearly burn offerings, mm -hmm. Passover feasts, y'all ain't saying that. Mm -hmm. It all had to be executed or carried out in mm -hmm. Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. Christ, our sacrificial lamb, yes. not, coming to, not coming to condemn the world, but rather to fulfill the law he had to follow suit. Yes. He was not here to bring a new tradition to the church. He came. Somebody say he came. He came. He came to open our eyes. Yes. And to be the fulfillment of the church. Yes. And so Jesus travels to Jerusalem. Yes. But for you, there's something different about this occasion or this journey yes. to Jerusalem. Jesus enters Jerusalem, of course. However, he does not enter Jerusalem as the Christ we know. Mm -hmm. Up until this point, men have wondered who Jesus was. Yeah. The disciples even said that some said he was John the Baptist. Mm -hmm. Others said he was Elias. Mm -hmm. Jeremiah is for one of the prophets. Yeah. People did not know exactly who Jesus was. However, as Jesus enters into Jerusalem, uh -huh. this time, yeah. we get a glimpse of exactly who he is. Amen. So today, he's no longer the miracle worker. No longer the man that turned water into wine. No longer the eye doctor that opened blinded eyes. No longer the missionary who heard the cries of blind Bartimaeus. Yeah. Uh -huh. Brother Edward, he's not the iron chef. Uh -huh. uh -huh. They're fed 5,000 with two fish, five loaves of bread. Instead, Jesus this time yeah. enters Jerusalem yeah. as a savior yeah. and as a king. Y'all yeah. don't hear what I'm saying? Yeah. I better say that thing again, Alabama. For the first time in 33 years, he enters Jerusalem as a savior and a king. Not just any old kind of savior, but my savior, my king, your savior, your king, our savior, and our king. Jesus Christ enters Jerusalem as a king. Yes. And he did it all on Palm Sunday. Amen. Amen. My friends, the Messiah of the Jews, yes. Holy One of Israel, uh -huh. my Lord and my Savior. Yes. Now, on Palm Sunday, yes. can I tell y'all something? Yes. Would finally, Brother Tim, be given the respect the religious leaders yeah. but they hate themselves mm -hmm. would finally see the scriptures yeah. unfold before their eyes yeah. they would see Jesus yes. riding yeah. on the back of a donkey yeah. to fulfill Old Testament prophecy yeah. Zechariah said rejoice greatly yeah. O daughter of Zion mm -hmm. shout O daughter of Jerusalem, yeah. behold, thy king cometh unto thee. Somebody say Jesus came. Jesus came. Right said he was just, mm -hmm. holy, yeah. righteous, yeah. and having salvation. Yeah. Lowly he would be right mm -hmm. upon an axe. Yeah. Zechariah makes it very clear that when the king would come, yeah. he would be right on the back of a donkey. Mm -hmm. He would not come on a horse, no. not coming on a camel, no. but he was coming on a donkey. Yeah. This was a donkey that had never been sat on before. Uh -huh. 
A donkey that had never been rolled before. A donkey that never worked in the field before. That Jesus tells two disciples. Go over into the next city. And when you get to that village around Bethany, there you'll find a cold tie. I do. Amen. And when you find the coat, loose him and bring him to me. And if anybody asks you, why do you loose the coat? Tell them that the Lord has need. Preach that. Amen. So the Bible says that the disciples go to a place where two roads meet. And they find the coat tied by the door. My friends, this donkey would be the transport mm -hmm. for the Lord Jesus Christ. He wasn't going to ride in a Mercedes. That's too luxurious. Can't ride in an hour. Got too many buttons, bells, and whistles. He will come ride, y'all ain't saying that, on the back of a donkey. I need you, I need you, I need you. Why I can't get too happy here. I need you to see what's happening in our story. Mm -hmm. On Palm Sunday, yes, Jesus Christ saddles a donkey, mm -hmm. rides into Jerusalem. Yeah. He's no longer a way maker, mm -hmm. no longer a provider. Yeah. His identity and relation to mankind is totally different. Yes. Jesus enters Jerusalem. On the back of a donkey yeah. as a savior, yes, deliverer from sin, yeah. redeemer of mankind, mm -hmm. king of kings, yeah. lord of lords, yeah. eternal friend, yeah. my God in whom I trust. Yeah. He yeah. enters Jerusalem yes, on Palm Sunday yeah. to fulfill a God-given purpose. Yeah. Yeah. He is there only for one thing. Yes. That is to save mankind. Jesus went to Jerusalem. Uh -huh. Didn't go for an entertainment show. Mm -hmm. Didn't go to be a comedian. Right. Didn't go to become rich and famous. Yeah. He was not there to perform another miracle. Yeah. He was there to save mm -hmm. mankind. Yeah. My friend, in his first advent or his first coming, he journeyed to Jerusalem to save mankind. Yeah, amen. However, the people of his day did not recognize his purpose. Mm -hmm. They thought, listen to this, they thought that Jesus was coming to destroy the powers of Rome. Yeah. They were under oppression by the Roman Empire. Mm -hmm. They wanted Jesus to be a triumphant king to free the Jews. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me. They wanted him to come and free them from the powers of Rome. Yeah. Even after his resurrection, yes. they asked the question in the book of Acts chapter 1. Yes. Will you restore to us the kingdom of God? Yes. And Jesus tells them it's not for you to know the times and the seasons which the Lord has put in his own power. But you shall receive power. After the Holy Ghost, y'all ain't saying the Holy Ghost. After the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Jesus was not there to deal with Rome. Jesus was not there to give them earthly authority. He was not there to restore natural power. Christ Jesus entered Jerusalem to usher in a new wave of glory.
Jerusalem. Yes. It gets to a place called the Golden Gate. Yeah. Now that's something strange about this Golden Gate. Yes. The Golden Gate has been sealed up. Yeah, no one can travel through the Golden Gate. Yeah. Why? Because in 1541, uh -huh. a Turkish ruler uh -huh. got upset that the king of the Jews was going to come through the golden gate on the back of a donkey. He was jealous. So he sealed up the golden gate. The problem with this, he sealed it up in 1541. That's 16 centuries. Jesus had already gone through in A.D. 30. He was a little too late. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me. He thought he was going to keep him from coming through the gate. But right on, King G. No man can hinder thee. Well, I feel like preaching in here. My friends, my friends, my friends. Jesus rides to Jerusalem yeah. on the back of a donkey yeah. travels through the golden gate. Y'all yeah. don't hear what I'm saying. Yeah. But when he gets there, yeah. the Bible says that people meet him right. on the way. Yeah. Yeah. And when he riding on the back of this donkey, yeah. the people that met him uh -huh. threw their coats uh -huh. down on the ground. Y'all yeah. don't hear what I'm saying. Yeah. Threw their garments yeah. down on the ground. Yeah. Quick to the palm tree. Yeah. Cut the branch off yeah. and wave. Yeah. 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 Wait a minute, wait a minute. Even before the battle, 
like preaching in here. It was a symbol of victory. But it was also a symbol of rejoicing. If we got the victory, why do we come to church? Cry! 
the palm leaves. Yes. They're all waving in the air. But I hear the cry of the people.
Amen. For this time, we're going to come Thursday night, 7 o'clock. We're going to church, y'all. The Passover is a different kind of service for us. Amen. Amen. Don't nobody got to go to work Friday. Half of y'all retired anyway, but don't. Don't none of y'all got to go to work Friday morning. So we're going to have a good time in the name of the Lord. If you'd like to give, amen, the baskets, amen, are on the extended side of the pulpit because of the all the Palm Sunday. Don't this stuff look good, y'all? Amen. amen. Thank you so much. If you'd like to give, amen, it's posted on Facebook how you can give. Cash app uh, is Rivers of Life, the number two, capital R, capital O, capital L. Rivers of Life, the number two. Also, um... Uh, you can give uh, by texting your gift of any amount to 910-335-8663. Amen. 910-335-8663. Or you can go to the Facebook link, click, uh, click on the Easy Tide link there, and you can give in the name of the Lord. We thank you so much for all that you do to help us to continue the work of the Lord. As we leave this place, Father, but never your presence, keep us in the center of your will forever, cover us under your blood until we can meet again. And we all did say, Amen. 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 Amen.